Hey again, this is Adam Parker with Adam Parker Photography. And I recently did a review of the Low Pro Fast Pack 250 uh, camera and laptop combo bag. Since then, I've gotten lots of questions about how does this bag look and perform in the field beyond just the initial comparison and review of the bag itself. I recently had the opportunity to take the bag with me on a three week trip to South America. I had it fully loaded with camera gear, lenses, laptop, cables, everything you can imagine, and even had stuff stuck on it, stuck in it, and used it probably far beyond what it was intended for, and the bag worked wonderfully. So I wanted to show you what the bag looked like, as well as what I had in it, how much it weighed, and what the experience was like, how comfortable it was, and just give you a better feeling of how this thing is going to work for you before you go out and try to pick up one of your own. So let me show you what this bag looks like on. I've got this bag fully loaded, camera, lenses, laptop, and uh, tripod on the outside, water bottle, GPS, pretty much as loaded as it can be. Uh, the pack weighs 31 pounds, fully loaded. Without the tripod and without the water bottles and stuff, it weighs around uh, 18. So you've got a wide range there depending on what you have on it. But this is what the bag looks like, fully loaded, 31 pounds. Uh, it's a lot of gear. And, it, you know, it does, it does take up a fair amount of space. But one of the things that I like, especially with the tripod, is that with the tripod on the side, which is not what I initially intended, you actually don't have as much depth to the bag. So you don't have to worry as much about knocking things over when you're turning around. Uh, the bag still works just fine. As a sling style bag, I can open it up, get to my camera without any trouble. And uh, it's pretty good as far as uh, staying sturdy on your back. It doesn't really throw you off too much. Uh, you've got your waist belt here. So if you put that on, you can, you can get down, you can, you can move around, you can get up, and it's not usually too bad. So that's what the bag looks like on. It's 31 pounds, so it's a little bit heavy, but beyond that, it worked flawlessly. So why don't I go ahead and uh, show you first the tripod accessory that I put on here. What I decided to do, since there isn't a tripod holder, there's just the mesh water bottle holder on the side. So I took my um, Velbun carbon, carbon fiber tripod, and uh, fortunately it's small enough. Uh, it's only about, I think, uh, 18 inches or so tall, so it's a smaller tripod and that helps. But I was able to stick the two feet here in the bottom, and those are stuck in the mesh. And then what I did is I bought just an elastic bungee, and I wrapped it around the two legs, with the outer one closing it, and then I put it under the shoulder straps. So you can see that it loops here under the shoulder straps, and then hooks back around to this top strap. Now one of the things, I've seen bags with what seem like sturdier top straps, but this strap has held the water bottle on it, the, the hooks for the tripod, it's being held by it. It's a very sturdy, very solid strap and it's worked flawlessly so far. And I'm really glad that it actually has this design versus the one that's integrated with the shoulder straps because I can actually hook things on it better and have them, when it's on, be out of the way. So this was uh, perfect for traveling through the airport. It was perfect for traveling through checkpoints to get into locations and uh, you know, I even uh, did some vertical ascents, uh, I mean not strictly vertical, but going up some peaks uh, up several thousand feet with this pack on and uh, it, it really wasn't a problem, it kept everything out of the way. So let me go ahead now and show you what I have in the bag and that way you can see how much stuff it actually held and uh, was able to take with me. So you've seen what the bag looks like on, so let's go ahead now and show you what's actually in this bag. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the bottom compartment, but this bag is loaded just about as much as it can be. Uh, so if we open up this flap, on the outside, garbage bag for water protection. We have got uh, about four lithium batteries and about eight alkaline or uh, sorry nickel cadmium rechargeables. So we've got a ton of batteries, uh, wipes for the screen, just small knickknacks out here. In the main compartment, what we've got is Canon 5D Mark II with 70 to 200 or 24 to 70 millimeter lens on there. That pretty much takes up the whole main section. We have got an additional memory card up in the upper slot. Slot. Uh, we have a charger for the batteries. We have a charger for the camera batteries. We've got external microphone for video recording. We have USB cables. 
we have a compact flash um, card reader. We have a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. We have the battery adapter for the battery grip for double A's. And then we have at the bottom a uh, crush and water resistant Pelican case that is used to store small portable hard drives as well as USB cables and documents. And that's all that's in the bottom section. If we go up here on top, what we have is a 7200 millimeter F4 L lens. Let's see if we can get a better view here. We have got a 580EX2 flash, a notebook, a uh, lens cleaner, two pens. In the mesh, I've got a circular polarizer. On the adapter, I've got a flashlight, um, uh, adapter for weights on the tripod. We've got the lock for suitcases, USB thumb drive. We've got microfiber lens cleaner. We've got an SD card. We have also got in the pouch an additional Canon battery, um, LP E5, I believe. We've got in this pouch business cards. We've got a travel adapter for power, a uh, sunglasses case. We have got a case for the lens, uh, a Ziploc baggie. And then in the outer portion, we have the USB cable for iPhone, iPod. We've got a power cable for laptop. And that's all we have in the outer pocket. So in this portion, we are done. And then in the back, we have, uh, in replacement of the Mac, which is recording right now, we have a 13-inch Dell laptop. We have notes and documentations for the trip. And at the very bottom, which just fits in there, um, is a waterproof case for, um, for sticking anything in there to keep it protected from water. So that is all of what we have inside of this bag, along with the water bottle on the outside and along with the tripod and the GPS on the outside. There's still room for a little bit more stuff, but not too much. You could fill in some of the gaps. But uh, as you can see, just about everything you wanted. A camera, three lenses, filters, batteries, hard drives, laptop, notebook, battery chargers, extra batteries, uh, the whole works. So that's what's in the bag. So now that you've been able to see what's in this bag, as well as see what this bag, when fully loaded, what it looks like on, and kind of get a little bit of an idea of how comfortable and how useful this bag has really become, at least for me. I hope that you're able to make a better decision when you're out looking for a bag for your camera, your laptop, whatever things that you want. So as a review, I find this bag um, highly useful. Uh, it's met all of my needs and expectations. It's been comfortable and it's kept my gear safe, which is the most important thing. So if you'd like to know more, please visit my blog at blogs.adamparkerphotography.com slash blogs. Or you can view more of my videos that I have online reviewing this product as well as other products. So thanks again, and I hope this helped. Bye.